We are kicking off a brand new series today, and so we're going to be taking a look in John chapter 14, and we're going to be talking about the Holy Spirit this whole month and the role that He plays in our spiritual life. Is that you can't live the Christian life without the Holy Spirit moving in your life, without you listening to what the Holy Spirit has to say. So I want us to dive in here, John chapter 14, and just read about what Jesus said about the Holy Spirit. John chapter 14, verse 15 to 27 it says, If you love me, keep my commands, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever, the Spirit of truth. The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Before long, the world will not see me anymore, but you will see me. Because I live, you also will live. On that day you will realize that I am in my Father, you are in me, and I am in you. Whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I too will love them, show myself to them. Then Judas, not Judas Iscariot, said, But Lord, why do you intend to show yourself to us and not to the world? And Jesus replied, Anyone who loves me will obey my teachings. My Father will love them, He will come to them, and make our home with them. Anyone who does not love me will not obey my teachings. These words you hear are not my own. They belong to the Father who sent me. All this I have spoken will still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things, will remind you of everything I have said to you. Peace I live with you, leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Do not be afraid. So here Jesus is talking to his disciples about an advocate, someone that's going to help them. The first thing he says is that the Holy Spirit is going to help us. Now, I don't know if you've ever needed help before in your life. All of us at one time have needed help. Even if you don't remember it, we've all needed help. A few weeks ago, we were moving house and I moved you know, most of the heavy stuff and I got down to a few items and I thought I could do it by myself. And then I realized these items are way too heavy, even with the power that I have here to do it by myself. And thankfully, my neighbor, Brad, came along also with his friend and they helped me move. And it was such a relief to have someone come alongside and kind of take that weight and help me move some items that I could not move on my own. And that's what says the Holy Spirit is. In our spiritual life, in our life, there's times that we need help. There are situations that come to us that we don't know the right decision. We don't know how, what way we should go, which way we should really um, bend towards, lean towards. But the Holy Spirit is there to help us. He's an advocate. He's a counselor. He comes alongside us and he helps us. And sometimes we have weights in our life that are way too heavy for us to carry on our own. Holy Spirit comes and he helps us. And so in our spiritual life, we need to recognize that we can't do it on our own. If you try to live a Christian life on your own without the Holy Spirit's life help, you will not be able to do it, is that we need the help of the Holy Spirit. And so the Holy Spirit comes alongside of us to help, but we need to welcome that help. I remember when Brad asked me, do you need help moving? And I had to say, yes, I need help moving. Now in my pride, I could be, no, I'm fine. I don't need any help at all. But I asked for help. And that's one of the things we say with the Holy Spirit is we welcome the Holy Spirit to help us. When we come into situations, we come into conversations, and we don't know what to say, we ask the Holy Spirit to help us. And we need to welcome the Holy Spirit. We need to welcome Him into our life and not be prideful and say, well, I can do it on my own. Is that no, we need the Holy Spirit's help. And so that's one of the things that Jesus said is that the Holy Spirit's gonna help you. He's gonna help you in your life. He's gonna give you advice. He's gonna speak to your heart. He's gonna tell you the direction you should move in. So when you face temptation, we call on the Holy Spirit to help us. And so that's the first thing that he says is that the Holy Spirit is that I'm going to give you an advocate to help you. And the next thing he says is to be with you, is that we're not going to be left alone. Um, one of the, the books, I love reading different biographies, and one of the books that I was reading was Tortured for Christ, Richard Warmbrand. And he was a Romanian priest that spent years in jail. I actually spent years in solitary confinement. And when he was by himself with no one around him, they said the, the torture was so great that even the um, guards would wear slippers so that he wouldn't even hear the steps of the guards, completely alone. 
and yet he was not alone because he had the Holy Spirit with him. This shows us even in times in our life, you might feel lonely. You might be facing a breakup situation. Your heart might be broken, but you are not alone. The Holy Spirit is there with you. He's not only a help, but he's there with you. He's there alongside you. So even in those situations that you may feel completely alone, everyone may have abandoned you, you are not alone. The Holy Spirit is there with you. And if you'll call upon the Holy Spirit and you'll ask him to speak to you, you'll ask him to guide you, you'll feel his comfort, you'll feel his peace. And so uh, Jesus was saying to the disciples, you don't have to be worried. You don't have to be worried that I'm leaving because you will never be alone. It doesn't matter how far away you go physically from people, you are never alone. The Holy Spirit is there with you. And I've had this privilege when I've traveled, is I've heard the Holy Spirit's voice on multiple occasions speaking to me, giving me comfort, speaking to me. Even when no one else was around, the Holy Spirit's voice was there. The next thing that he says there is that he says that the Holy Spirit is there to teach us. He's there to teach us. And he's also there to remind us, to remind us of the scriptures, is that he teaches us. When we read God's word, is that we're asking the Holy Spirit, teach me today. Is that I want you to teach me. When we're out in life, we're asking the Holy Spirit to teach us. And the Holy Spirit has incredible ways of teaching us. Is that it's not just head knowledge, it's action. The Holy Spirit will lead you to react to needs. He will lead you to step out of your comfort zone and do things that you wouldn't normally do. But because you hear the Holy Spirit's voice, the Holy Spirit prompting you to do something. And the other thing he says with that, not only being taught, but he will remind you. Uh, the other week I was proctoring an exam. So I'm watching over this pastor as he's doing his exam. And the first few questions he's doing so good at. And as he's getting further in the test, you can tell like, Lord, remind me. You know, and he's a pastor. And so he's praying and I was asking, you know, Lord, remind him. He studied, but sometimes you can study all these things. You can know all these things, but you forget about it. We face situations where we forget about it. We forget about it when we come to crisis points. And the Holy Spirit is there to remind us of his word. He brings it back to our memory, brings it back to the forefront. I've already done this miracle. I can do it again. He reminds us of God's promises in our life that he will never leave us or forsake us. And so the Holy Spirit not only teaches us, gives us opportunities to respond to the word of God, but he also reminds us times where we've forgotten what God's word has said. We've forgotten what God has already done in our life. He reminds us. And so what we want to do during this month is we want to welcome the work of the Holy Spirit. We want to welcome him to move in our life in these different ways. Maybe some of you need help today. Maybe some of you are feeling lonely today and you need to be reminded that he is there with you. And maybe some of you are facing a situation where you are just deeply discouraged is that today we're going to ask the Holy Spirit to remind us of his word. And so I want us to pray today, and I want us to welcome the Holy Spirit. One of the things that I remember being in church they would do is they'd say, is open up your hands like you're receiving a gift. The Holy Spirit is a gift. And so we're going to open up our hands in faith. doesn't matter where you are, in a coffee shop, doesn't matter where you are at home by yourself, is that you might be holding your phone. You hold your phone with one hand, open up your other hand, but receive today and say, God, I'm welcoming you. Holy Spirit, I welcome you to move in my life, to be my help, to be my guide, to give me your peace, to let me know that you're there with me, to remind me of your word. And so let's do that together. Father, we just welcome you, Holy Spirit, to move in our lives, Lord. We welcome you to come, to speak to us where we need to be reminded of your word, God. Lord, to give us direction, to teach us, God. And Lord, to give us, Lord, your peace, Lord. Let us know that we are not alone in this world. You are with us. And so, Lord, come today, God. Holy Spirit, we welcome your work today. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.